Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Market Watch video. Me and Mike are here uh, going over some of the cards, some of the changes that have been happening in the market. Uh, a lot of things have actually been moving pretty well. Um, a lot of stuff is starting to drop, and uh, quite a few things are starting to rise, especially with a lot more of the tournaments coming out for uh, OPO7, stuff like that, over in the Eastern format. So it's definitely starting to take its toll and effects on here. Um, also, we are starting to see uh, stores starting to get more restocks. I know our locals recently said that they are going to get some more cases of uh, OP3 through 6. So we are going to start seeing that. So I definitely think we're going to start seeing more uh, movement in the market. And uh, yeah, it's definitely showing it now. Yeah, that's one thing I've been hearing. It's kind of a common trend is uh, 3 through 6 have been announced. Yep. Available for reprints. I don't know if certain stores just aren't getting 1 and 2 and some are, but yeah, I haven't heard any getting 1 and 2, which is a good thing. I mean, they're, they're significantly older. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I, to, to me personally, I think I'd rather see, uh, I'd like, I wouldn't mind seeing O2 get 1 just because obviously O2's got some extremely impactful cards. But I'm okay with it not. Oh, one, I don't want to see get a reprint because of the fact that it is the first set. Mm. I think that that 100% should be a collector's market right there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. Uh, I'm sure everyone in the comments section will be okay with that too. Mm. So. At least most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're starting it off with Sabo. So uh, obviously this card's uh, a lot of people. I'm sure you guys have it. Um, or have seen it at least there, uh, definitely started to see a rise. I mean, we knew it was, you know, kind of trending uh, around that $11 mark for quite a while. But I mean, now we're starting to see four of them just sold for 18. Uh, lowest near mint, that's, you know, 16 and change. And then pretty quick up to about 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we started seeing this one. This one's increasing largely due to like the large number of decks that are playing it now. It's so crucial in the current meta because it plays around Amaru yep. and and really reject because the turn you at least the turn you play it, yeah. then you can't reject your blockers. Uh, Amaru, tap them down, go for game. So it's, it's seeing play because it's meta relevant, it's been meta relevant since it came out. And then also uh, these starter decks, the black, yellow, loop yeah. is massive. That that eight drop, Moria, double Sabo play where you can drop the ACOS Moria, grab a back couple Sabos, use Luffy ability because it's ACOS Moria, two cost to use the ability. And then you get to use Luffy, take two Sabos, the five cost Sabo, this one, and put them in your life. The two costs you get back with uh, Moria, you send, add back your Sabo, draw two, discard two. So you can cycle, draw two, discard two, draw two, discard two again, and your leader is 9K and you have two blockers. So it's a that's huge, just, massive, yeah. massive lap, lap turn. So that's why we're seeing an, uh, an upswing for that. And I mean, it's definitely going to be more intricate, obviously, as things come on with yeah. these new decks, but lots of stuff happening. Yeah, next up, Kaku. I believe that's right. Kaku, Kaku? Yeah, Kaku. Kaku? Yeah. All right, so this one's going up. Uh, 07 Luchi, super quality deck. Mm -hmm. uh, eruption just got banned. They're getting their own Eruption. I, I believe the restriction is that you have to have 10 in your trash. And it's a uh, draw one card for one, and then you get a minus three. So an improvement on it, <laughs> minus the restriction. Well, luckily they banned Eruption. Yeah, yeah luckily they super did. relevant because, <laughs> yeah. Brutal. But yeah, this is sitting around, floating around a dollar, probably even less than that if you go back further. Yeah, yeah. 50 cents. And so we're now we're sitting around two, three, really three bucks because if you get one of these in the, with the shipping, you're paying three bucks. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, no, definitely uh, uh, oh, another card we'll go into here 100% uh, Luchi. Luchi is solid. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, with the Luchi thing. And Kaku was a card that, I mean, it's never been money, right? Like, it's never been really like. It was kind of used in some some like old Luchi deck stuff like that, but it was never really a thing. Yeah, Airdor maybe. Yeah, like, we saw like that in play, but it was never great. No, but now it's it's pretty De solid. Definitely better, yeah. So, uh, and kind of seeing that same trend. So we got the uh, Khalifa. So this one, um, obviously the alt art, but uh, it is worth noting that I mean, if you do have the alt art, I mean, congrats. I mean, it's it was at 30s, dipped down, you know, came up to 40, and now it's already 50, 60. I mean, the lowest is 70. Uh, there's one, 170, 75, and then boom, right away. So, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, it's a good card, plus it's, you know, typical waifu card. Uh, so you are going to see a little bit of a tax on that because of that. But um, overall, it is a just generally good card. Yeah, you have the thickness tax on it for sure. But then you also have, like, like I said in the last video, any kind of, like, alt art searcher or 2K for a playable, mm -hmm. re really any, anything, because they can announce support for any kind of, uh, we'll just call them subtypes with uh, CP9, CP0, CP anything. Uh, same with Straw Hats with Nami. Mm -hmm. uh, 
searchers with the new even camis like I think it's a fishman searcher maintaining price point so just solid always good to pick up and you're seeing the result if you had them now I didn't but yeah, if you had them now you know definitely got rewarded for that yeah definitely I mean and, and you mentioned you know searcher and stuff like that I mean this one gives a minus it also draws it's also a 2k counter so I mean it's just in, in every way this card is just a very good card I think the original art is still like a buck or two so uh, still pretty cheap there too. I, I definitely recommend it if you're gonna be playing black. Hmm. Uh, then up next we got Gordon, uh, red purple law. I mean uh, red purple law we know coming into EVO one is gonna be crazy good. Yeah, um, it's setting itself up to be really good. This one uh, I saw a little bit of a decline uh, down to the twenties, uh, you know low twenties, but right back up into the, the low thirties. Uh, I definitely see this card probably keeping that low to mid thirty. Um, just because it is a card that you generally can run three three of at least. Um, sometimes some people run four, uh, that do raise max, you know, people might ratio it like two and two or something, but. Yeah, people really expected that card to make this card be like almost equip, yeah, equal to it, like equivocal to the this price point, but it's really just, it was only money in the first place because of the fact that it's such a more finite supply mm -hmm. than any other card printed in a regular standard booster box because this is a promo. Yeah. So yes, you can play the four raise max in place of it, but you really that deck plays like I think six to eight is pretty standard for lists. Yeah. When it comes to like um, copies of Gordon and raise max, it's either you know, you know four and two, three and three, or you just blow four of each because it's just easily the best card in the deck. Next up, Ain. We have more red purple law. Wow, let's go back a little further too because this card was like just nothing. Yeah. Twenty five cents. Now we're sitting around seven sixty nine, close to eight bucks. Yeah, pretty steady rise, and that's to be expected. You might see this like common right here. Always take that with a grain of salt with starter deck cards because, much like promos, but obviously to a, a lesser extent, there are a more finite supply of starter deck cards. Mm -hmm. So you co common starter deck means nothing. I mean, they're, they're just in that starter deck, and that's it. So finite supply. I would have probably even less copies of this than a standard rare in, yeah. in boosters in terms of print runs. So it makes sense that this went up because yeah, staple in red purple law. And that's gonna be really good after EVO one, which is coming out soon. Yeah, I think uh, we got like uh, a couple weeks, three or four weeks, why not? Yeah, is it early? <sighs> I think it's early, early, early May? Early May? Early May, if I remember right. Yeah. Uh, because then uh, 07 is like mid July, mid June. Yeah, I think it's in June. Something like that, yeah. Uh, then we have Suru's. So Suru's um, been seeing definitely more of an uprise. Uh, you know, obviously, and even going back further, I mean, we saw it, you know, kind of fluctuate, then it dipped back down, um, but now we're starting to see that come back up again. Um, lowest listings right now are, that's, you know, four, four plus a buck shipping, so I mean, you know, four or five bucks a piece. Uh, definitely solid cards, uh, definitely recommend them. Um, obviously, I mean, it's just, it's just a great 2K. It's just a generic black 2K that's just good. It, yeah, it's a, a 2K popular subtype with navy uh it just playable it's a yeah. one cost drop by two uh obviously outside of great eruption which will replace itself so it's not as good there but the fact that it's also a 2k used defensively or offensively depending on your situation playable 2ks will always be money mm. we're seeing that with Ezo, with uh, the gr the green Ezo three yep. cost from i believe is it set one is that two set one set one yeah seeing it with that any kind of playable 2k is just gonna go up yep next up we have spandum uh, this is going up, another card for uh, a Lucci, that uh, 07 Mono Black Lucci, and we are seeing significant price jumps. These are like the like penny stocks, like yeah. stuff you should, I would always recommend getting Searchers and, and 2Ks, that even if they're cheap, they can come out with some stuff at any given point to make any card playable, even the most unplayable looking cards, or even the most cards you don't see any play in the, any given meta, they could down the road. And the same thing even happened with cards we now consider like meta defining. A card that got banned, Great Eruption, saw no play. Yeah. No play. And then it went to a card that they deemed worthy of banning. So always worth picking these up. Uh, yeah, this one's not crazy, but I did want to touch on it now because it actually is still pretty affordable. It's a rare, it's a, a staple, it's a searcher for a card that's getting support. And just, just from the stuff we're seeing in 07, quality card to pick up. Yeah, I mean, definitely a solid one. Uh, and obviously the big reason on this like you touched on there was it's a penny stock right so people are always asking you know and complaining when cards reach that seven eight nine dollar mark or whatever people will be like 
oh, I need a place that I can't afford that, you know, whether, you know, whatever reason, you know, you don't have a job, you're a college student, you got bills, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and I understand it. But at the same time, it's like, this is the type of card that could eventually see those higher dollar points, like the five, six, seven dollar point, uh, especially with like Lucci and stuff coming out. And it's better just to have it now. If you're planning on playing black in the future, uh, just get it. Like you, this is something that there's always going to be CP9 stuff. Uh, it's, you know, in the show and everything, it was, it's pretty heavily represented. Uh, so it's definitely just worth getting. And this, as long as the leader includes CP, so it's not locked to a CP0, CP9, anything like that. It's just CP. Mm. So that is nice. Great that they give it that flexibility. Uh, up next, we got Isho. So this one, um, you know, we've kind of seen online too, people talking about. Uh, it's definitely starting to see uh, more of a rise. Uh, give all characters minus three, which is pretty big. Uh, and then on play, if they have six or more trash two, uh, those cards we always see um, are just generally good. I mean, we saw that with like Law. Uh, obviously, the Pudding has the shuffle back. And then, um, gosh, what's that new one that also dropped? That minus a, or uh, discards. There's a handful that'll like, I don't know, shuffle or discard back. Or yeah. There's a new Law that's coming out for Seven Warlords where mm-hmm. if they have six, you can bounce it back to your hand and they have to put a card from their hand to the bottom of the deck. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could see like that one's, you know, a buck, a buck. I mean, that's, it's, it's always been, you know, dollar, sub dollar. Uh, now it's up to six. And I mean, it's the sales on it, the lowest listed here, five plus a dollar shipping. And then immediately, you know, sixes, stuff like that. So de- definitely worth, you know, it's, it's a great card. Again, it's still relatively cheap. I would look into getting it. Yeah, and I believe, yep, Pillars of Strength. So this is during that era where pretty much it was a guarantee if you, if, like pre-release prices, and then there's post-release prices, and everyone always assumed it's always going to drop, and that's safe to assume that because it happened for four straight sets. And then set five comes along, everything starts going up. Set six uh, came out, and they actually retained prices because set five, the singles dropped. Mm-hmm. Set six was the first one where M- boxes are over MSRP substantially, and singles were actually solid. Yeah, actually, you weren't seeing like three dollar Rob Lucci's, four dollar Rebecca's. Mm-hmm. You know, you had twenty dollar Gecko Mori, yeah. Gecko Mori, yeah, seventeen dollar Raju, uh, fifteen dollar Hiori's. Yeah, I mean, I think the low is ten, but I think uh, market was on that fifteen. Yeah, actively selling cards, so the low might be like a BS listing, like just one of those unverified sellers. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100 percent. But yeah, I mean, this card it was a long time coming because it's quality. Both are quality. Uh, Don X one to give uh, kind of a mini Kuzan where it's uh, all of your opponent's characters get minus three cost, mini 10 cost Kuzan. Which is huge. I mean, giving huge. all characters minus three is big. Huge, huge for one Dawn. And then, I mean, just what's the downside? You have a, a 10K body that on play gives your opponent a neg two that's at random. So it's not like the Great Eruption trigger where they get to pick their discard. This is yep. sniping two cards out of their hand, like the blocker law. So I mean, it's a long time coming. Uh, great color for black, and it fits right into that. Yeah, I mean, great discard, hand control. It's navy, then, it's searchable. Yeah, and then also plays into the, the cost reduction. So yep. just a perfect card. Next up, Katakuri. Now, we're going on the downswing now. These are cards that are on a downward trend. Uh, you can just see it been going for a while. 85 down to, looks like low <coughs> 50s. Lowest is 60 here, 61. So st- still a good price, though. I mean, if you're holding on this card, I mean, you didn't, like, lose a ton of value. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's still a good card. Uh, this one, I mean, it, obviously the reason it's starting to see this downward trend is because Enel is not really seeing too many uh, tops or anything like that right now currently at regionals and stuff. And most of your Katakuri decks don't play this card. Mm-hmm. Um, or if they do, they play it like one. Maybe one. Yeah, so it's definitely not, it, it's it's just not playable a lot. It's not seen much. Enel still runs it, but Enel's not doing too much right now. Um, it'll probably go back up. I would I would assume it'd go back up around uh, EBO one when that new when the new stuff comes out to help Anil because mm-hmm. that Anil starts getting really good again. Uh, so I mean, if it is something you are looking at getting and you've been waiting, I I mean, if you can find them locally, if you can you know tell somebody, hey, here's fifty bucks, you know, maybe even cop it for forty if you can, you know, if you can find someone that's like, hey, I'll do you know a place at forty apiece or something like that, pick them up. Uh, it's definitely something that's good to get because it's just, just a really good card. And when Enel does get stronger, Cat will go back up. Yeah, there's probably about two or three things to consider for this card to go up or down in the, the near to late future. And that's one, Enel's playability because that's the deck where you see it the most of. It's a four of, mandatory. 
Uh, second thing is uh, reprints. So the, the extra waves we're getting of uh, set, you know, three to six, however much. Mm -hmm. If we get a significant amount of three, you're going to have low demand because no one's really wanting to play it competitively right now and uh, increase supply because people are pulling it because they got their locals got pillars of strength boxes. And so th what do you do when you pull an expensive card? You want to sell it. Everyone undercuts to the point where you start seeing significant drops. Yep. <clears throat> and the third thing is if they do any kind of supplementary reprints where they come out with a new set and, you know, like they do like different arts for yeah. it. And so it's not like an extra wave of set three. It's just like a new set and it gets either, it could be a special printing, yes. like special rare printing, a new alt art, or just a, a just their first reprint set where it's just a, it's a technically a new set. Maybe they include some new cards, but it's largely just like here's a, a bunch of like core staples that are going to be cheaper now. So those three things will, will come into play determining what it is right, right now, but there's really no reason to expect this to go up in the near future. Maybe when EBO one drops and NL, NL can start seeing a little more playability because he does get better with that six cost. I yep. believe it's coming out there, might be 07, but I believe it's that six cost event is coming out in EBO one. I'll have to double check on that, but. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what it does. So, and then uh, another one that's, you know, interested in looking at, um, Magellan. So um, obviously purple, uh, purple Luffy's fallen. Uh, we all we all know it. Purple Luffy's fallen off quite a bit, mm. uh, but Purple Magellan is still a very good card, uh, just in general, especially with yellow being a thing and stuff. Uh, we'll see more purple decks coming and such. Uh, and I, I mean, I will even say too, they have the new purple yellow pudding coming. I mean, that's gonna be another one where we could see Magellan start rising up again because just overall, I think in any purple deck out there, this deck can be playable because I mean, just the fact that you can. Send a Dawn back, and then if you KO it, send two Dawn back, you're putting them at such a disadvantage. It's, unless they're playing like a ramp deck, um, you're just you're putting them on a, a harder clock to get through. Mm. So I definitely uh, think it's worth looking into. Um, you know, we saw it 12 and just consistently going down. Now it's bottoming out low floors. Um, and I mean, we see, you know, about five bucks, about five bucks. Um, it's kind of where it's sitting at right now. So, I mean, I definitely think this is something worth looking into. Yeah, and he's, he's playable in every purple deck, but obviously it came to rise with purple Luffy because turn two Magellan is so strong. Yeah. If you're on the draw, you drop this turn two, and it's, I mean, it's hard for decks that don't really care that much about their Dawn to, to play through. It's almost impossible to play through, especially two of them. Uh, for decks that play more top-heavy, like your cats with you know their ten-cost Lin Lin that they're trying to get to, mm -hmm. if you can the, if you can keep them off of that, even just buy yourself an extra turn away from that, they typically can't answer that. If they have to get rid of it, if they feel like it's necessary to out that as a threat, then they really just lose the game because if you kill it on their turn, they have the Dawn minus two on top of that. Yeah. So it's just so much value, such a stun card that I mean top-heavy decks really can't answer it. So I think uh, with Sakazuki being banned, I can see it potentially being better because black now has to actually KO it and can't just bottom deck it. Yep. So we'll see if the the Dom minus two is uh, enough of a hindrance for Purple Luffy to see a resurgence. But yeah, time will tell on that one. We'll yeah. see. Uh, next up, we got uh, Marco. So obviously we covered this one in a previous video. Um, I, we knew it was going up, uh, obviously because of the new Marco leader. Uh, it's starting to see a decrease now, which I mean, the, the, the jump, obviously we knew the jump wasn't going to last. Yeah, yeah, the jump was, I mean, just initial, you have a ton of people buying at once, mm -hmm. and you have a finite supply on TCG player. It, it's going to ca cause a massive spike, but then you have all the people that just had it lying around in their binder, didn't care to list it, that see it at a crazy price that are going to throw it up there. Mm -hmm. And that's naturally going to trickle down in price. And yeah, I mean, it's sitting around 10 right now. I, I think this is a fine price for the card. I think it'll kind of hover between that 8 to $10 range. Yeah, um, it's a really good price for just a speculation. I mean, yeah, it's because it's it's really not doing much right now. You see the rare white beard tops, and they're mentioned now because it, it, actually, it actually is pretty spectacular for that thing to top now. So I mean, just for pure speculation, for a ten, it to be a ten dollar card is quality because that Marco is looking pretty solid. Yep. So yeah, I mean, if it's in right with Marco's ability, so I, I do see this being playable, uh, barring you know something just subst it has to be a strictly strict huge improvement over this for them to want to cut this because yeah. that that minus attack really plays right into this. And then, um, obviously, the last cards we're going to talk about, the same ones we always talk about every single time. Um, so it's going to be uh, Borsalino and Kuzan. Uh, Borsalino, obviously, we do jump back up uh, right around the whole world stuff going on. 
but now it's starting to see a little bit of a fall off. Uh, not not crazy by any means, but it is definitely on. It's under it's under fifty. Uh, so and we could definitely see it maybe hit a little bit lower. Um, right now, forty eight is the lowest there, um, and we are you know seeing some sales forty seven, forty five, whatever. Um, and Kuzan, you know, kind of same thing. Uh, we are starting to see that hit lows here now, uh, 20, 21. Yeah. Um, not dropping a lot, but it is dropping a little bit. Yeah, these are a couple cards we really, I don't know if we ever went over these. Cause, yeah, uh, we were I talking about I've never often. seen a Borsalino, never heard of it. <laughs> but, you know, I, had, uh, I did a little research before the video, apparently. Yeah, it is, it is seeing a substantial amount of play. Yep. And so, yeah, I mean, we... Yeah, it's a good card. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got to go over it so I could, like, see it. <laughs> But yeah, a little bit of a dip because I think uh, it was 55 last video. Last time we talked about it, yeah. Yeah, so a little bit of a dip here, nothing crazy. Still a really expensive card, but it's a really good card. So it just makes sense. This is right around 21. I mean, you see a little bit of a drop off here, but I mean, that's like, we're talking. We're pretty, pretty we're still talking, on we're par. Talking, we're talking change. Yeah. So yeah, still great cards. Uh, no foreseeable ban. I can't imagine them banning either one of no. these. The, the draw one is nice tempo, but it, you know, lacking a counter makes that really balanced. It, it's yeah. It, it, there are so many cards out there that could be banned before Porcelain or Kuzan should even be looked at. Yeah. So re really no fear with these. I, I would have said the same about Great Eruption, but I also kind of understand Great Eruption to like some extent. Like there is no like red card that like you know draw a card for one give us something minus three like a little like imagine if like gordon replaced itself with a draw but even then like but black just at the time at least felt underwhelming but maybe with future stuff but that's the thing though right is like i mean if we're going to say the great eruption deserve it you know i we can see why the great eruption gets it but then they got another one that's coming out that's better they got a better great eruption yeah and so it's like to be like hey like yeah for them to be like you know what great eruption was too busted let's get rid of it by the way Here's something better. Yeah, better to an extent. It, it does have that restriction on it. But yeah, once you meet that restriction, which is very easy with Lucci and uh, probably a handful of other black decks because Moria also mills and discards. Yeah. And has that uh, 2K that you can play, mill five. So Moria, I, I don't know if it's exactly leader lock. I, I'd have to pull it up. So don't quote me on any of this. It might, it might be leader lock to a CP, but I think the only restriction was 10 in trash. Yeah. But we'll see. Who knows? Well, we'll see what happens with it. Um, but yeah, these were some of the cards, you know, obviously we go over. Um, we do appreciate everyone watching here. Uh, if there are cards we missed, please let us know down below in the comments. Uh, if there's any cards you guys are investing in that you think, hey, these might have good potential, uh, let us know. You know, we'd love to talk about them and kind of get some more word out there. So, uh, but hey, we appreciate everything, guys. Uh, as always, uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time. Yeah, hopefully see some of you in Peoria. Yep, we'll be there. Later, guys.